Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. By far the most dramatic and devastating impact of the Columbian Exchange followed the introduction of new diseases into the Americas. Soon after 1492, sailors inadvertently introduced these diseases, including smallpox, measles, mumps, whooping cough, influenza, chicken pox, and typhus, to the Americas. Take our lead. Some of the negative effects of the exchange included the diseases, like smallpox and influenza, that Europeans brought to the New World. The Native Americans had no prior exposure to these diseases and had not built up any immunity. As a result, these diseases were deadly to them and decimated their populations. Take our lead. TLDR, for reasons beyond human control, rooted deep in the divergent evolutionary histories of the continents, the Columbian Exchange massively benefited the people of Europe and its colonies while bringing catastrophic crumminess to Native Americans. Take our lead. The Columbian Exchange caused population growth in Europe by bringing new crops from the Americas and started Europe's economic shift towards capitalism. Colonization disrupted ecosystems, bringing in new organisms like pigs, while completely eliminating others like beavers. Take our lead. The exchange introduced a wide range of new calorically rich staple crops to the old world, namely potatoes, sweet potatoes, maize, and cassava. The primary benefit of the new world staples was that they could be grown in old world climates that were unsuitable for the cultivation of old world staples. Take our lead. From the perspective of Native Americans, a number of very bad things happened as a result of the Columbian Exchange. The worst, by far, was that Native peoples were exposed to diseases of European origin for which they had no immunity. These included smallpox, typhus, measles, and various forms of plague. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.